Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many React developers encounter when transitioning their applications. Our viewer is moving from Webpack Dev Server to NGINX and is facing a frustrating issue. When they navigate to the login page, they receive a 404 error. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. When transitioning your React app from Webpack Dev Server to Nginx, the first step is to ensure that your Nginx configuration is set up correctly to handle client-side routing. In your Nginx configuration, you need to modify the location block to ensure that all requests are directed to your index.html file, except for static files. The try files directive attempts to serve the requested file. If it doesn't exist, it falls back to serving index.html, which is crucial for React Router to work properly. Additionally, ensure that your React router is set up correctly. The browser router component should be used to wrap your routes, which you have already done. Finally, after making these changes, restart your Nginx server and test your application by navigating to the desired routes. You should no longer see the 404 error. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're serving your React app from a subdirectory like jobs, you'll need to configure Nginx properly. Start by setting the server to listen on port 8080 and specify the root directory for your files. In the location block, Set an expiration time for caching and add a cache control header. Use try files to handle requests, directing them to the correct index file if the requested file isn't found. This setup ensures that your React router works seamlessly with Nginx, allowing for proper navigation within your app. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To configure NGNX for your React app, set up the location block to forward all requests to index.html. This ensures your single-page application works correctly. Additionally, in your package.json file, add a home page property to handle nested paths correctly. This points to your website's URL. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To solve issues with React Router and Nginx, the user found success by adding a root directive. This setup also works well with a reverse proxy for API endpoints.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. When configuring Nginx for React Router, ensure it finds the correct index.html file. If your app is in a specific location, you need to adjust the try files directive. Instead of just pointing to index.html, include your specific folder in the path. This ensures Nginx serves the right file when handling redirects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user addresses a common issue with React Router and Nginx when using proxy paths. They highlight that subpaths can break, but there's a simple solution. The user provides a code snippet for the main location block which sets up the proxy pass to the local server. To fix the broken subpaths, they suggest adding a specific location block for each subpath, like slash contact. The user concludes that this simple fix works effectively where other attempts have failed. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.